before I get started, Yankees down 3-0 to the Dodgers. That series is over. Aaron Judge hit 58 home runs during the regular season and has totally stunk up the postseason. Batting 0-8-3 in the World Series. Me being a Yankees fan, what you do in the regular season has nothing to do with what you do in the postseason. Yankee fans are not wired like that. It's about winning World Series, not regular season stats. Aaron Judge will be judged by his postseason stats, his postseason failures. And he stunk up the joint. 083 in the World Series? Believe me, he's going to get blasted if the Yankees, if the Yankees get swept. And rightfully so. Now, I had a feeling it wasn't going to go right for the Yankees because Fat Joe didn't bring the energy. The lip syncing was off. It was a lukewarm performance at best. And then I didn't feel right. By the time the game started, I was not confident in my New York Yankees. Do not forget to subscribe if you want to, but definitely comment. Anthony Richardson, Anthony Richardson, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? For one thing, quarterbacks, they take the less punishment out of all NFL players on the field. They don't get hit like that. They might take a couple of hits if they leave the pocket and they run the ball. Everybody knows you can't really rough up a quarterback. It's not like you're offensive lineman. Well, you get hit on every play, or they hitting somebody on every play, or a running back, where well, you get tackled and get manhandled the entire game, or even a wide receiver that's running all running down the field the entire game, exerting a lot of energy. Now players get tired. I get that, but uh, Anthony Richardson. Get in shape. And don't tell anybody you're tired. That you tapping out. Joke, it was third and 22. Can you walk to the locker room? All you're going to do is hand off the ball. Then kick the field goal. How you tell the whole world you're tired and you tapped out? Yet you quit. You don't do that. Man, I watched... Debo Samuels, who couldn't even breathe last night, play an entire football game. You're trying to get over pneumonia. Barely could breathe. Running, catching, running over people. He would come out the game, come right back in there, run another play, catch another pass. He couldn't even breathe. Not once did he head to the locker room. Not once did he, in his post-game press conference, talk about, oh, I was tired. Oh, God. I need a breather. I need to uh, I need to go sit down for a while. Man, football players don't do that. Now I get it, you like 23, 24 years old. You from a whole different generation. You are. But you gonna hear about it today. You just some things you just don't do or say. So a quarterback who takes no hits, talk about I was too tired to to continue. I need the break. And then you tell the world that. You go, they're going to look at you sideways. They're going to blast you. So it was a learning learning lesson. You'll learn from this, Anthony Richardson. Just keep working on your game and just get smarter. That's all. You'll be, you'll be all right. You won't do that ever again. Like, you might take yourself out for a play, but you ain't going to head to the locker room. You ain't going to do that. You're going to be on the sideline. You're going to get some oxygen or something, and you're going to come back in that game. You ain't going to just say, I'm out of here. 